first question to you all is that everybody here today do you really truly from the core of your heart you want a higher finer greater and more beautiful life is that a definite yes i want to see some hands up or i want to hear some yeses over here come on let's let's build up that energy yes great thank you sally <laughs> you're the first hand i saw wonderful wonderful great great fantastic so before we start this the first thing that i want you to do is to set an intention what is it that you would like to manifest set an intention is it a job is it more money is it career is it a relationship is it even self love for yourself okay it can be a new habit it can be a new skill it can be a new material thing it can be a more spiritual evolution it can be anything there is no right and wrong in this universe there is no judgment so the first thing i want you all to do is stop judging yourself today there is no right and wrong and set a clear intention and very very honest intention what would you like to manifest from deep down within your soul from your heart okay now the next question comes now that everybody should have at least one point for manifestation okay there can be two or three or four things that you would like to manifest but i want you to set a priority to one goal one objective which is the most important for you which is you know like a like a tree is full of fruits but the fruit that is the most overripe that catches your attention okay so focus on that one priority of manifestation second i want everybody to look at the screen okay and what do you see in the screen and i want some answers if some somebody can you know um mute the unmute the mic and give me some answers what do you see on the screen write a few lines about what you see on the screen right now okay none of you are going to be graded on this test it's not an exam so i'm not whatever. sure i got the right screen i can see a dot you can see a dot anybody anything else yeah, right would screen. like to know there are a lot of people yeah a white space with a black dot a white space with a black dot okay anybody else I Come on! Do. I need more engagement, more energy. Give me more energy. I see a lot of white space. What a lot of white space. Great. Anything else? Maybe a circle. Maybe center of focus. Center of focus. Interesting. Interesting point. See. the reality is the same right but everybody is interpreting the reality in different ways does that does that like make sense to you yeah like this webinar i will be saying the same words to everybody it's not that i'm saying a uh, different uh, words to sapna and different words to maribel and different ones to sally but after the webinar different people will have different opinions about this webinar some will say oh that was really awesome i loved her energy somebody will say oh i already knew all this information there was nothing new for me somebody will say well you know it gave me a little bit of energy and positivity and somebody will say that oh you know it was kind of waste of time everybody interprets the reality in different ways okay 
So what I want you to understand here that some of you saw a black dot, some of you saw rather, you know, a white screen and a dot in there, and somebody saw just the white screen. Okay, and the same thing happens in our lives too. We all have a white paper to observe and learn from. And yet, we focus many times at the dark spots. So we have so many reasons to celebrate. We can celebrate the co-workers, our friends, our good health, you know, a roof over our head, our parents, even a child's mind or something as small as a cup of coffee. Miracles are happening every moment in our life from morning till night. Okay, we are, whether we witness it or not, it depends on our way of looking at things. How much awareness that we have developed in our own self. Okay, many people tell me a lot because, you know, whenever I'm talking to my friends, end of the day, I have a lot of stuff to tell them. You know, this happened and that happened and they're like, oh, your day was so eventful. And... I'm like, you know what? It's not that my day was more eventful than yours, but it's just that I observe more. <laughs> it's the awareness, the mindfulness of the moments. We take so many good things that, you know, for granted and focus our energy on the insignificant dot-like features failures and disappointments, you know, we, the people who have let us down or things that did not work as for our expectations. So here you can pretty much have an idea where you lie between one to 10 in the scale of manifestation. Are you looking at the black dot? Are you looking at the white space? Or are you looking at both at the black dot and the white space? Or are you looking more of the white space and less of the black dot or more of the black dot or less of the white space? It's something to think about. It sounds like a very simple child's exercise, but there is so much depth in it. You do not need to tell me the, you know, but you know deep down what is your honest reply. Okay. Now, the next thing about, now it was so white, I couldn't even see the arrow before we start everything. What is manifestation? Again, throw me some definitions, ideas. I mean, this is such a, you know, sometimes I feel this is a topic that has been so much talked about. It has even become a fad, you know, law of attraction and manifestation. And many times it is so misunderstood and it has lost the gravity of it. So what is manifestation for you? Unmute yourself and tell me. Hi. Yeah. Uh, for me, manifestation is being in the flow. Being in the flow. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's Lorenza. Thank you, Lorenza. Welcome. Anybody else? Yes, I want to say that for me, manifestation, it took me a long time to really get it. But when I've accepted what I want, I've accepted it like I am worthy of it. Once I've accepted it, I mm -hmm. vibrate the energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mari uh, Maribel, you went muted. Okay. I yeah. think like you said, it, it's playing tricks. What yeah, I said I is, one of the first things that I realized about manifestation is that I have to feel worthy and I have to really accept that what I want to manifest I deserve it and once I accept it then I like she said you're in the flow you're in the flow because you accepted it and the energy of accepting is a high vibration mm -hmm. and when you're in that high vibration you no longer worry about oh I'm not going to get it oh um maybe it's not going to happen for me and you just let it go and it comes to you when you least expect it. 
beautiful beautiful that has been i can tell that this has been your um experiential way of explaining manifestation thank you maribel in a very simple way it is a conscious awareness that we create our reality with our thoughts and our emotions mark my words i did not say just that it's a conscious awareness that we create a reality with our mind i said with our thoughts and our emotions okay it has been thousands and thousands of years that the concept of manifestation has been there throughout the world in ancient traditions and cultures it is not something new that when the book secret came out that you know uh, it was a novelty idea that came out it was already there it was reintroduced at that time because at that time law of attraction and you know it became such a huge thing it came into people's awareness it came in the forefront but if you go to traditions you know buddha taught that what do you think you become after buddha shakespeare shakespeare also wrote nothing is unless our thinking makes it so the biggest achievers of the world they have understood how manifestation works walt disney said if you can dream it you can do it so manifestation is conscious doing in two words that's how i would define it manifestation is conscious doing okay where your focus goes your energy flows what you focus on and what is what you attract it's like a magnetic pull you know between uh, the earth and the uh, you know uh, and and the sun there is a magnetic pull between the earth and the moon there is a magnetic pull there is uh, you know in the orbit the different um, the different um, uh, planets that are revolving around the orbit they are all maintaining a magnetic pull with each other and it is so systemic so beautiful and so harmonious that it's functioning in perfection okay so manifestation is conscious doing and what is conscious doing the basis of the foundation of called conscious doing is conscious being in order to be 1000 percent successful in conscious doing you have to become first a conscious being okay so basically manifestation in other words if we would expand it it is the magnetic pull or the gravitational pull between the sum total of our conscious and unconscious beliefs and the behavior so if you believe that you have the capacity to achieve your goal you will also be inspired to move towards that goal people are still coming in <laughs> they have missed quite a bit okay so are we clear on what is manifestation so i'm moving on to the next slide conscious doing is with con being conscious being the first thing of manifestation what we need is clarity and focus many people do not get what they want why because they do not know what they truly want do you agree or not most people are confused 95% of the people in the world today do not know what they want 
and that is why they are always doing they are living their life in a shopping mode from one boyfriend to another boyfriend from one girlfriend to another girlfriend spiritual shopping from one project to another project from one job to another job because most people do not know what they want 95% do not know what they want 3% of the people know what they want but they do not have the resources to get what they want one percent of the people know what they want and they get what they want but they cannot enjoy what they want in the process they burn themselves out with high cholesterol and high blood pressure and diabetes and hypertension and insomnia and only one percent knows what they want and they get what they want clarity is power so are you clear on what you want ask yourself right now and be very very specific and when i say ask you what do you want i don't want you to think of something that the society has told you what you should want what your parents have taught you since your childhood that you should want in order to be seen as successful as per the social definition of success okay somebody is entering now <laughs> okay sorry i'm losing the flow because i'm admitting people in in between so yes so when i when you look at what do you do i really want you have to connect to that child within you we all have a child within us which is always whispering to us and an adult voice shut that child and you have to listen to that child now which is that gut feeling that inner intuition and no matter how crazy that idea seems or how stupid or how insane it is it is okay the first thing you need is self to be able to have clarity on what you want and be very very specific second thing because what happens is let's say i'll give you an example some people are you know i get clients and you know they tell me oh i want more money you know what universe will give you 1 dollar you will go out and find 1 dollar lying on the street you want it more money so it's 1 dollar you need to have specific goal what you want you need to visualize as you know to the point of madness the precision should be there your short term goal your mid term goal and your long term goal divide them don't try to eat the pizza all at once then it will become overwhelming take one bite at a time that becomes easier short term mid term long term okay so let's say you know what i what what do i mean when i say after clarity focus imagine you are driving a car okay and instead of looking at where you are going you are looking outside the window and many different beautiful not so beautiful things okay now what happens if you continue driving for you know this way for too long do you think that you will be able to drive for long or your car is going to crash right why because you are not focused at where you are going and that happens with a lot of people people get distracted so you need to stay focused while you are moving forward to achieve your dreams and goals most people are not fixed at where they are headed in life they are preoccupied with multiple distractions lack of concentrations while they are at the project what are some of those distractions being on facebook being on instagram as simple as that social media too much of sleep addiction negative environment unnecessary shopping or simple wasting time in unimportant things or their mind is scattered and loose with unimportant thoughts 
that are not necessary. So you need to learn to develop a filter so that you are focused towards your goal. And this, and this is why most people feel that their life is crash and they're falling into gutter one after another. Because if you're driving your car, looking sideways by the window, looking here and there, very soon your car is going to end up in a ditch. <laughs> okay, so you know, give, scale yourself into 1 to 10. Where do you stand when it, um, when it comes to clarity and focus? Second, part of being a conscious being is emotional awareness. Emotions become our reality, not our thoughts. Everything is energy, movement, vibration. We all know that. And what is emotion? Energy in motion. It is an ocean on motion. We are always constantly creating, manifesting at all times. Every breath we are manifesting. All of life is spirit expressing itself in countless number of forms. So manifestation is not a mental process. Many people keep on doing affirmations in a mechanical way. I love myself unconditionally. I love myself unconditionally. I love myself unconditionally. Do you think it's going to work? No. Doesn't matter how many times of the day they are doing it. It's not going to work. It's a heart-based process, not a mind-based process. So in order to manifest, you have to get out of your head and into your heart. Your emotions guide your energy in specific direction. Okay, now this is a myth when we say that you have to be positive at all the times. No, you cannot be positive all the time. That is just not human. So do not force yourself to be joyful at all the time. Take ownership of how you feel. Don't reject. Because the moment you reject... That, oh, I'm feeling angry. I don't want to feel angry. The moment you reject, rejection leads to resistance. Rejection leads to resistance and resistance leads to conflict. Okay. So this is the first thing you need to ask yourself. Are you in a state of flow? Are you in a peak state or are you in a state of resistance? Okay, because today we have very short time, I won't be able to go in the details of how to, uh, you know, identify which state you are in. But um, I'll just say, for example, what is a flow state? There is a difference between being in a flow state and a peak state. And you need the combination of being in flow state and peak state together. Both of them together will create your manifestation, will make your manifestation successful. So you experience flow, let's say, for example, when you are painting or you are running long distance or you're playing a musical instrument or you are driving, you know, your car in a repetitive mood, uh, route. State of flow is a state of trance in which your mind is operating more from the subconscious mode. Because normally it is our conscious mind, which is the micromanager. And our conscious mind is only 3% of the brain. Okay. So in a flow state, the 97% of the brain, which is the subconscious mind, which is the powerhouse of creativity and ideas and innovation, that is the part that comes in the forefront in action. At that point, what happens? We do not feel fear in that state of trance because we are not thinking. We are not in that analytical conscious state of mind. Okay. So creation flows effortlessly. 
so flow state in other words we can call the flow state is like an intuitive assistant peak state and flow state should come together to make your manifestation successful and if you are in resistant state then there are also steps on how in a matter of like two minutes you can change from resistance to a flow state i cannot explain everything today though i would love to but if you want i have i'm having a book coming out emotional mastery and there i have actually put together a seven step you know breakthrough formula where if you are feeling angry or if you are feeling depressed and you are at work and you quickly need to change your state and how you can doing that even if you are in a public place or in at home so you can you know uh, do it yourself and get it now the next thing the third thing energy protection your brain is at positive when at positive is 31% more productive than when your brain is at negative neutral or even stressed state it has been you know a survey has been done where it showed that when you are in a positive state the brain is in a positive state people perform 37% better in sales doctors are also 19% more faster and more accurate coming up with correct diagnosis i think not just about doctors and sales people in your own life also you can see that that when you have been in a positive state solutions flow to you more easily if you are in a problem you never get the right solution when you are in a negative state you will be getting conflicting solutions okay so energy protection i would also like to say here some other uh, another important thing is that you have to also understand that in order to manifest something first of all you need to be able to channel 100% of your energy in one direction now what happens many times out of that 100% that energy that you are channeling 5% goes in worry 10% goes in doubts another 5% goes in questioning another 5% goes in anxiety so what happens that 100% becomes 95 90 85 80 70 and before you know you have already lost so much of energy and then you are asking why are things not happening for myself i'm trying so hard it doesn't matter maybe you are doing a lot of meditation you are doing a lot of you know spiritual practice you are doing affirmation you are doing everything but you are taking a bucket that has a hole you know holes underneath and you are filling up that bucket from top and it is just draining energy so will manifestation work for you no in order to make it work you need to learn how to channel 100% of your energy towards one direction concentration focus of streamlining your energy like a laser sharp laser beam towards your goal a lot of you also have this experience i'm sure because if you are working outside you know in offices you are meeting so many different kinds of people throughout the day whether you want to talk to them or not you like them or not you want to communicate with them or not but it is your job and you have to it's part of your role and what happens at the end of the day you feel drained by the time you come back home why because these people understand that we always at all time we need energy that's why we eat food why why do we eat food because we need energy that's the foundation of why we are eating food so what happens if 
people are not able to receive that energy vertically, that is from the cosmic source, they absorb the energy horizontally. Does that make sense? And not everybody can, uh, you know, absorb energy or receive energy vertically because they have never learned how to do that. Our school education does not teach us all these things. Our school education teaches us Pythagoras theorem, which I don't even remember now and I'm not even using in life. They don't teach us how to use emotional awareness. They don't teach us how to deal with life when life doesn't go the way you expect them to. And that happens many times in life. So these people, when they're not able to get it horizontally, horiz uh, vertically, what do they do? They will absorb it from you. And if you are meditating, you are doing spiritual um, you know, uh, practices, and you are actually doing a lot of inner work, and vibrating at a higher level, know that if this is the law of the universe, how it goes, energy flows from high to low. They will love talking to you and they will tell you, I feel so good when I talk to you. <laughs> I, I felt so, you know, stressed when I came here and now that I'm talking to you, after talking to you, I feel so much more relaxed and peaceful. They go back home feeling relaxed and peaceful, but what happened to you? You are drained. <laughs> so you need to learn how to filter out. And all of you who are here today, I already know that you guys are not here by coincidence. You could have been doing something else at this hour, but you chose to be here. It is synchronicity. You are, you are wonderful receivers of energy, which is a God gift. To be able to have, receive energy. But as much as you receive from your spiritual guides from the higher source, you're also receiving from everything else from everywhere. So you need to learn how to build your filter. To be able to filter out what to receive and what not to receive. What to keep, what to let go. Later on 24th of this month, I will be doing a course specifically on energy protection. It will be only a two hour course, but there will be a lot of techniques that I will be giving you, which is a combination. Now I have, I am a practitioner in 20 different modalities of coaching and therapy. So I have combined a lot of these modalities it has taken me years to learn you know it has taken me like 15 years to learn 20 different modalities i've done a phd on this as well and i have combined all of that and i have come up with a few techniques which are very simple to use and very powerful that you can use to protect your energy and psychic self-defense and which is very much needed at this time because right now in a mass level, the world is vibrating in a, you know, in a vibration of uh, fear and anxiety and panic and insecurity because nobody knows what the future holds for them. And everybody loves to have that certainty in life. So it is very easy for us to get affected even if we want to stay positive. So how to protect your energy? and build that resilience and strength of your energy field. So if you can, I strongly recommend you join that course 24th of this month. Now, second, uh, the last thing, what I would say, uh, this is not the last thing. Yes, conscious faith, I call it. You have to become comfortable with uncertainty to make law of manifestation work for you. Now, that is the most difficult thing for all of us. I will not believe probably if any or one of you will say that I love uncertainty and I am okay to let go of certainty <laughs> because certainty gives us control. 
certainty gives us control you know it's it's that's why we go to tarot readers we go to astrologers we want to know what's going to happen in the future because by knowing what's going to happen in the future it gives us certain control in our life it gives us certain security and security certainty is one of the basic five human need that we are born with and to a certain extent it is also needed because right now if i'm not certain that the ceiling or the roof is not going to fall over my head i cannot sit here comfortably and peacefully and have this conversation with you and focus on this presentation but understand one thing certainty and passion do not go hand in hand and as i said you have to get out of your head and into your heart to make law of manifestation work for you certainty leads to pragmatism analytical skills to head and uncertainty leads to heart and passion if you are certain about every single moment of your life that you know what is going to happen one minute from now one hour from now tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon tomorrow at dinner what you will eat and uh, you know the day after lunch dinner everything you are certain how do you think life is going to become it's going to become boring we need variety variety gives us growth boredom and passion do not stay under one roof together so you have to get comfortable with uncertainty it is uncertainty that gives you passion and aliveness and you have to ask yourself what is that value that gives you the state of not just being good or okay but makes you feel 100% alive in the beginning you said that when i asked you with clarity and honesty what is it do you want and the goal that you thought about yourself does it make you 100% alive how bad do you want it how much passion do you have for it okay and the last but not the least is connection to the universe the universe is working through us all the time so there has to be a deep appreciation and gratitude for that creative force that spiritual you know that intelligence that energy exists in you that energy exists in all space in all time it exists in a mountain it exists in the ocean in a bird in a dolphin in sunrise it exists even in an earthquake and a dog rolling around in the mud everywhere everything arises from it and everything returns to it it is both in solid and in liquid and know that you are the expression of this higher energy and that makes you a great generator of that energy because you are it and it is you using your will you can draw upon that inexhaustible source of energy how to do that a anxious and nervous mind will not be able to draw that power of the infinite but you need to have a conscious calm and powerful use of the will that can shake the force of creation and brings a response from the future uh, from the infinite i know we are uh, well over time but is everybody okay if we do um, 
small, like a short five minute process. Yeah. Excellent. Everybody is aware where they have the medulla oblongata, where it is located. Yeah, exactly. I'll just show it is at the nap of your neck in the hollow part over here. Okay, there is a hollow that you will feel that's the medulla oblongata. Okay, this is where the cosmic energy enters your body. Okay, so I will ask everybody now before you close your eyes, this is how you will breathe. You will take two short, sharp breaths, like an in, inhale in two breaths and exhale in one breath. So it will go like. Clear? Okay. Now close your eyes and inhale in two short breaths and tensing your body and exhale in one breath. Inhale in two short breaths and exhale in one breath. Inhale one more time in two short breaths and exhale in one breath. When you are inhaling, tense the body high enough to vibrate and release. And release. Wonderful. Now come back to your regular breathing. And make an intention that with every breath, you are removing all the unconscious tension. Relaxing the body completely. With every exhalation, your entire body is relaxing deeper and deeper. Allow this relaxation to drift down to your feet, relaxing your feet. Feel this wave of relaxation moving up your lower legs, thighs, and gently into your hips. Allow your abdomen to relax completely. Feel this wonderful wave of relaxation moving up your lower back, mid back, and upper back. Allow this relaxation to move up your chest and in your shoulders. Your shoulders carrying subconscious loads and burdens, just relax them. Relax your jaws, every muscle on your face deeply relaxed. Feel the relaxation around your eyes. making your eyes heavy, relaxed. Feel the relaxation in your forehead, moving up to the top of your head. As I count from three to one, allow yourself to drift into an even deeper relaxation. Three, every muscle in your body is deeply relaxed. Two, every nerve, every tissue, every fiber in your body is in deep relaxation. 
hundred times more deeper. Any outside noise will help you to relax even deeper. And one. Very deep now. Every cell in your body is in an ultimate state of deep relaxation. As I pause for a few moments, allow yourself to relax even deeper. Now focus on the area of the medulla oblongata at the hollow in the back of your neck. This is where the cosmic energy enters your body. Visualize a vast ocean of shining, healing light. An ocean of energy on the top of your head. An undisturbed, unbroken, infinite ocean of cosmic energy and a stream of shining light entering from that ocean at the point of your medulla oblongata and filling up your entire head region. The light can be of any color of your choice. It does not matter. Allow this light to flow from the head to all the parts of your body. Your neck, your shoulders, your arms, hands. Your chest filling up your abdomen all the way down your back muscles, filling up your pelvic region, your thighs, lower legs and your feet. It is not just unconscious energy but intelligent energy. The intelligent energy that goes into every cell, carrying out all the functions of the body harmoniously. Visualize your body now filled up with this energy, this healing light. You can increase the energy flow by conscious use of your will. The center of will is located at the point between your eyebrows, at your third eye. Focus there. Focus at the point between your eyebrows. From where you are drawing this universal energy, the intelligent life force, the universal prana, from the ocean of energy into a light point between the eyebrows. This light in your third eye is getting brighter, bigger, more powerful, more strong. It is filling your head with an amazing sun of light, making all your thoughts clear, powerful, magnetic, and focused. 
This light is filling your body, sending this healing energy into every cell. Healing any area of discomfort. The blazing light drives out all the darkness. Visualize your body filled with vibrant light. You are coming alive with this beautiful divine energy. Feel the aliveness in every cell of your body, in every muscle of your body, in every part of your body. Feel the aliveness in your heart. See the energy expanding beyond the confines of your body now, glowing around you. A bubble of light filled with dynamic power. The power that can be expressed in many ways. The power that can flow into any habit, any vision, in any area of your life. Today, we will use this power to focus on success. Feel this bubble of energy all around you like a ball of light that you can carry with you everywhere. No matter what the situation is, what challenges are, you have the blazing energy of light surrounding you, protecting you like a force field. When you are in this force field, Nothing can harm you. Nothing difficult can touch you. You can even focus this energy very powerfully on any task, any relation you want to succeed at. Think of something that you wish to manifest, wish to happen, See that projection of that vision in front of you now in a screen. And send a ray of light powerfully into that area. One ray of light coming from your heart center and another ray of light coming from your third eye, projecting powerfully in that vision. You are receiving incessant flow of energy and light from the ocean above, which is flowing incessantly through the top of your head, through your third eye and through your heart. When you learn to control this force of prana with your will, thought and emotion, as you think, so shall you become. You think of being success. You think of being abundance. You think of being love. The universe will step in to make that happen for you. You can continue to keep this energy field around you. Because when this energy field is around you, there is nothing that you cannot accomplish. Fill this energy field all around you, not just with power, but with consciousness of love, kindness, and joy. And the power of universe is at your command. Take a few more moments projecting the healing light and energy in the vision. Seeing the vision growing stronger, brighter, magnifying in its image.
few more moments. Feeling the strength and power of this expanded magnetic field all around you. The beautiful ball of light, the healing energy all around you. Connected to that universal source of power, the higher intelligence, which is you and you are it. Feeling that strength, power, love, kindness, compassion in your heart and mind. With the count of one to five, slowly come back to the present moment here and now. One. Bringing back all the positive energies and positive memories of this beautiful healing meditative journey. Two, feeling physically refreshed, rejuvenated, mentally agile, intellectually sharp, emotionally fulfilled, filled with joy, peace and bliss. Three, completely relaxed and alive in every cell of your body, heart and mind. Four, you can start moving your hands and fingers. And five, whenever you are ready, taking your time. Slowly, gently, there is no hurry. There is no hurry in life because life never stops. It's an ongoing process. There is only birth and death, but life continues. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for having the patience and also taking this extra time. And stay connected with me on Instagram and Facebook. The details are on the screen. And here I am. in full screen i think <laughs> so if anybody wants to share anything thank you thank you Believe. very much thanks okay i want to say thank you for taking the time to help us to rechannel what we already know, but we need just a little push sometimes. And I just want to thank you for that. Yes. All the answers are always within us, but sometimes we need a validation from outside that gives us the confidence. And sometimes someone appears to remind us what we already know. Well, thank you for being that somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So I don't see any other questions here. Great. And just to remind you, I believe 24th is energy protection workshop for this month. 
And uh, end of this month, 31st, there is a free meditation on finding the inner peace. So if you are interested to go deep into meditation in a meditative journey, that will be very interesting for all of you to again refresh, recharge, reconnect back, recharge your batteries. And next month, I'll let you know uh, today what we are doing from my side, I can only say that uh, next month there will be um, abundance, uh, manifestation, meditation, and a course on uh, financial success NLP and EFT, the missing link. So there will be neuro-linguistic programming and emotional freedom technique, a combination of both, how you can use for your financial success. And I'm also available for one-to-one -one sessions for any kind of guidance reading, which is either tarot reading or channeling or uh, psychic reading. Okay, and... Uh, so if um, you know, you can even come in for a 15 minute free consultation with me if you wish to and uh, take it from there. If anybody has any personal question that you don't feel, you know, comfortable to share here, you can book a 15 minute free consultation with me through Illuminations. Thank you, everyone. I won't hold you back anymore. I think everybody wants to go and have their dinner or get ready for their dinner in the evening. <laughs> Thank you. Stay alive, stay Thank happy, you, manifest wonderfully and see you soon again. Bye. Bye. God bless. Lots of love.